at least 10 deaths after a huge bomb rips through Kabul mosque. A huge bomb attack at a mosque in Kabul during evening prayers has killed at least 10 people, including a prominent cleric, and wounded at least 27 others. There was no immediate claim of responsibility for the attack on Wednesday, the latest to strike Afghanistan in the year since Taliban seized power. Several children were reported to be among the wounds amid fear and the casualty numbers could rise further. The Islamic State group local affiliate has stepped up attack target the Taliban and civilians since the former insurgents take over last August as U.S. and NATO troops were in the final stages of their withdrawal from the country. Last week, IS claimed responsibility for killing a prominent Taliban cleric at his religious center in Kabul. According to a witness, a resident of the city's Kher Khanna neighborhood, where the city Yuma Mosque was targeted, the explosion on Wednesday has carried out by a suicide bomber. The slain cleric was Mullah Amir Mohammed Kabuli, the witness said, speaking on condition of anonymity because he was not authorized to talk to the media. He added that more than 30 other people were wounded. The Italian emergency hospital in Kabul said at least 27 wounded civilians, including five children, were brought there from the site of the bomb last. Kali Zadran, the Taliban-appointed spokesman for the Kabul police chief, confirmed an explosion inside a mosque in northern Kabul, but would not provide a casualties toll or a breakdown of the dead and wounded. Taliban spokesman Zabihullah Mujahid also commended the explosion and vowed that the perpetrators of such crimes will soon be brought to justice and will be punished. A U.S.-led invasion toppled the previous Taliban government, which has hosted an Aqadir leader's Osama bin Laden in Afghanistan following the September 11 terrorist attack in the United States. Since regaining power, the former insurgents have faced a crippling economic crisis. As the international community, which does not recognize the Taliban government, froze funding to the country. Separately, the Taliban confirmed on Wednesday that they had captured and killed Mehdi Mujahid in western Herat province as he was trying to cross the border into Iran. Muyahid was a former Taliban commander in the district of Baltak in northern Sa'erpu province and the only member of the minority Shita Hazara community among the Taliban's rank. Muyahid had turned against the Taliban over the past years after opposing decisions made by Taliban leader in Kabul. That's it for today. Thank you and goodbye.